the hardest thing about these video blogs is trying to figure out what to say. I mean, shit, there's always something to say. There's always something that needs to be said. But, um, how you pinpoint it down to one thing? I was listening to a song earlier today. And, um, I think it was Her Diamonds by Rob Thomas. And it had me thinking about the thing I tried to not think about. My marriage. No. Failed. Marriage. And it has me thinking exactly how bad am I? Not a badass. Not anything like that. Like how much of a horrible person am I for? Earlier today, something in a series of mental events happened. Nothing. Not a crisis. Just like uh, mental scenarios. One thing leading to another, <laughs> me and Jasmine used to call it, we would always jump trains, train of thoughts, and the memory of her saying that she lost respect for me as a husband a long time ago. She said that to me, and I still believe that there was still a chance, and now me saying this out loud, I realize I must have really been a fool the entire time to believe that, um, that a guy like me can find that kind of happiness with a girl like her. And and don't don't get me wrong, I like I'm not Yeah, I know she did all what she did and everything. Uh, slept with her best friend, her brother or whatever. Not her actual brother, but best I'm sure you guys have heard the always oh, like a brother to me line. Slept with that guy. The guy who she always told me not to worry about and not not to fear and we were only married for two years and over half that she said that she was like how horrible of a person must I be for someone to want to do that some people tell me that you know it's just who she was but she wasn't always like that you know like, like from the first moment I met her um Honestly, we were both coming out of a therapy session. <laughs> she was getting, she was dealing with the loss of her daughter. And I was dealing with the gain of everything, the loss of everything, the back and forth and just being able to adjust. And I saw her and I was just going to keep walking. I was like, oh, you know, she's really, really attractive, but she's way out of my league. Way out of my league. And I looked up to the sky. And my brother Danny can uh, confirm this because he was driving, he was riding the bus and saw me looking up at the sky like, what should I do? <laughs> and I turned around and I said, hey, nice shirt. Zebra printed black and white shirt. Short sleeve. That's how I started. She was nice. She was, how do I always tell Xavier his mother was? She was the opposite of me. Carefree. Free thinking. Open. Compassionate, understanding, loving. Those three things mean and those last three things is what she was to me. The definition of compassion, understanding, and loving. I wish I was stronger. I wish I was stronger then. I don't even know what it means to be stronger because most most of where my mind goes when it comes to stronger is beating somebody. And I'm trying. And it really seems that people just want to test that all the time. People want to push your buttons to see exactly how far you'll go. I'm trying not to. Heck, back then it wasn't even hard to not be angry, to not just fly off the handles. It wasn't. It wasn't even a question because I just had her. I had her and Xavier. And then she left and all I felt was anger. Even with Xavier. I never took it out on Xavier. Not directly. I had to admit for the first weeks 
first month, it was really hard. Every time I looked at him, I saw her. He looks just like his mother. You know, it's so hard to look at him sometimes. But Michael helped me see that he has an appointment. He's a person among himself. And she even told me that. I didn't know about AJ until, what, July 27th, about the affair. Everybody was telling me, like, oh, she's doing something. Something is not up. She's always out. She's never around. She, we always see her hanging out with AJ. And honestly, I, to pull, there was a part of me that was like, that's my fault because I, I hated going outside. What I wanted to do was fight. What I wanted to do was... I was just an angry person. But with her, I wasn't. With him, I wasn't. But it didn't matter. Because that night, that night I felt like a failure. I felt like everybody who I shunned, everybody who I told him, you're wrong. She's my wife. She wouldn't do that to me. I let them down. I let my son down. Because like she said, uh, she lost respect for me as a husband a long time ago. And if I'd done that, what kind of household can I design for Xavier? Back then, it was in my mind, it was just me and her. There was no you know, relatives to help us out. We just had us. <laughs> well, I thought we did. That's why sometimes it's still kind of hard for me to kind of you know, push her out in my head. I want to, you know. It'd be easier if she was just kind of like a girlfriend, a fling, but she wasn't. <laughs> she was my everything. She was my everything, and I was the husband she had no respect for. So for the past two, three years, I've been doing my damnedest to be a better person, to be stronger, to not let my brothers control me. And honestly, in the past few months, I've been questioning my progress in that. For a while, I thought I was actually doing better, moving forward, being, seeing where I wanted to end up in, the uh, destination, if you will. But lately, I just haven't been feeling like I, I'll get there. And now, indirectly, my biggest enemy is her. The woman I love. Yes, currently, because she's always going to be that person. When you divorce, when you separate and divorce, you don't, you don't just stop loving that person. You chose that person above all else. But I have to fight her to get my son back. How do you do that? How do you fight the person who helped you create the, a legacy? How do, you, how do you fight your wife for your son? I don't think it's going to be hard for her. And I'm really hoping she's not going to make this into a fight, but I... I have to do this. I have to be able to be the better person for Xavier, and I need to show that. And uh, in and, and doing that, I have to lose the person who I love the most. And it sucks. <laughs> People say they'll do anything for the kids. I'm willing. What am I really losing? She already left, right? But not up here. Up there, she's still my wife. And I have to somehow get rid of that. And just see her as my son's mother. So 
September's coming up really soon. I gotta get my house in order.